Welcome to our travel series, which is around about 500 videos now. In this episode, we look at the highlights of our Malaysia, Vietnam and Cambodia adventure. But why go there? Well, because we can, and it's cheap. The airfares and bus fares came to around $1,400 NZ dollars, and all the other expenses, such as visas, tuk-tuk rides, taxis, river cruises, and what have you, came to another $1,200 NZ. So it all for a 19-day holiday that was a total of $2,600. Not bad, really. But the main reason why we went there was to experience the food and culture that these destinations offer. Our travel team this time was myself and Christopher, and Teresa and Victoria. Our Air Asia trip left from Auckland and transited via Sydney. Unfortunately, a panel needed replacement on the Airbus A330, so mechanics repaired the plane overnight, and we got put up at the Novotel Sydney International Airport. This was great because it weighs in at $563 per night, and we didn't have to pay for it. What a great way to start a budget holiday. It gets better and better and better. Air Asia giving us uh, $40 worth of our food vouchers. Our food experience with uh, Asia begins with McDonald's. What's in your time? This is the life of Riley, right? This is the life of Riley, but th that's the plus side. The, the minor side is that we've only, ca we've only got to Sydney so far. <laughs> <laughs> A long way to go still. On this occasion, we booked the KLIA Express train into central Kuala Lumpur at a cost of 17 New Zealand dollars, rather than take the bus, which is a lot cheaper. The 55 km journey takes 30 minutes, and we checked into the Central City Hotel at $37 per night per room. The hotel is only 5 minutes walk from the main train station. The next morning, we changed money and went to the KL Central Plaza for breakfast, just five minutes walk from the hotel. It was time to enjoy yummy Malaysian food. How are you enjoying the Malaysian food? Is it good? Fantastic. So cheap as well. Unbelievable. Really lovely. Really fresh and lovely. So all, all this was five bucks, was it? And food. So is it good? Is it good? Is it very good? Just over 10 bucks for all this. Amazing. After a toilet and supermarket stop and buying our transport cards, we headed out to the KL Tower using the monorail system. Chris was eligible for a priority seat and I made sure I didn't kiss him. After a 15 minute walk from the train station, we got to the KL Tower entrance and took the free shuttle ride up to the ticket office. Entrance fees were $37 each, which we bought on Viata. Are we there yet? 14? What does that mean? 14. 20. The KL Tower was built in 1992 and is the world's 39th tallest tower at 421 metres and it's taller than the Sydney Tower and the Auckland Sky City Tower. A highlight of the tower is the glass skybox. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Are you scared? I am. No, I'm not scared. <laughs> hey, be scared. Be scared. 
Maybe that's good. There are two skyboxes offering different views of the city. Oh look, you can stick your hand out there. Were you scared? Were you scared? Not scared. Back at KL Central, we had coffee. Then Teresa's friends Stella and David took Teresa and I out to the famous and expensive Fifi Crab Restaurant, about 10 kilometres out in the suburbs. A very enjoyable meal. What a great day to end a day in Kuala Lumpur. A glass of wine on the rooftop of our hotel. The next morning we decided to go to Chinatown. Getting off at the Maharara Jalela monorail stop. Um, how, how do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce that? Ma -ha 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 uh, How do you pronounce it fast? Maharaja la 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 How do you pronounce it fast? How do you pronounce it fast? Maharaja la 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 How do you pronounce it fast? Maharaja la 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 I pronounce it Acha 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 Are you feeling religious today Chris? Oh, it's it's your lucky day. My lucky day. It's your lucky day. The Chan Shi Shu Yun Clan Ancestral Hall, as well as a place of worship, was hosting a wedding at the time. <laughs> Teresa and I thought about getting married. But after thinking about it for a millionth of a billionth second, discounted it. After admiring the wedding offerings, looking at the museum and signing the visitor's book, we moved further down the road to the market area of Petaling Street. After using the toilets, of course. It was lunchtime, so after looking around, we finally settled for the Bun Chun restaurant. A few meters from the restaurant was the famous Kwai Chai Hong Alley. A journey back in time to the 1960s golden era of Chinatown. Time for another photo shoot. It's said to be full of ghosts. While the girls were window shopping, we had some fun and tried a durian ice block. What's this then? Durian. What is it? Durian. 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 What was the taste? What's it taste like? Difficult to describe. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> eh? Oh. You like it? You like it? <laughs> Moving into the market, there was more to taste, smell, and buy. <laughs> and there were the usual funny translations. It tastes like wood, does it? We called into a Gulingao jelly shop. It's a Chinese turtle powder medicine and also sold as a dessert. Better jelly. Uh, have you exploded yet? Yeah. Tastes a bit like liquid. Uh, muddy water. And finally that evening, we went to the KL Pavilion for dinner. With more than 100 food stalls, you would think that there would be something there for everyone.
last night in Kuala Lumpur. Goodbye, Malaysia. Cheers. 34 ringgits for this. Cheers. 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 <laughs>